Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about albuminuria and microalbuminuria. Albuminuria is the excretion of albumin in urine. Normally a healthy kidney doesn't allow albumin pass from blood to urine. So albuminuria is an indication of renal damage. Let's see the causes of albuminuria. Main causes of albuminuria include hypertension, nephrotic syndrome, diabetic nephropathy, nephritic syndrome and pregnancy induced hypertension or PIH or eclampsia. Normally 30 mg per day is excreted in normal urine. This cannot be detected by usual test. So albuminuria can be detected by urine dipstick method or by heat and acetic acid test. These are the tests for detection of albuminuria, urine dipstick method and heat and acetic acid test. Albuminuria is of two types, microalbuminuria and macroalbuminuria. First we will see microalbuminuria. When albumin present in urine in high amount that is in the range of 30 to 300 mg per day, it is termed as microalbuminuria. This microalbuminuria is a warning signal for renal disorders especially for diabetic nephropathy and hypertension. This microalbuminuria can be detected by two lab tests. First one is 24 hour urine albumin test. If it shows 30 to 300 mg per day then there will be microalbuminuria that is 24 hour urine albumin test. Second test is albumin creatinine ratio or ACR. This is a method to detect elevated urinary protein. This test measures how well the kidneys are working. Albumin creatinine ratio compares the amount of albumin in the urine with the amount of creatinine. If albumin is detected in the urine sample which is collected at random over 4 hours or overnight, the test may be repeated or confirmed with the urine that is collected over a 24 hour period. Then albumin creatinine ratio is calculated. This is to provide more accurate indication of how much albumin is released into the urine. This albumin creatinine ratio is calculated by dividing urine albumin concentration in milligrams by the urine creatinine concentration in grams. This is the calculation of albumin creatinine ratio. Albumin in milligrams by urine creatinine concentration in grams. There are three categories of albumin creatinine ratio as per kidney disease improving global outcomes guidelines. First category is A1. This represents normal to mildly increased urine albumin creatinine ratio that is less than 30 mg per gram. Second category is A2 which represents moderately increased urinary albumin creatinine ratio that is 30 to 300 mg per gram that is microalbuminuria. Third category is A3 which represents severely increased urinary albumin creatinine ratio that is more than 300 mg per gram. If the albumin creatinine ratio or ACR is found to be moderately increased then the doctor will ask to repeat the test within 3 months. Let's see the symptoms of microalbuminuria. Usually there will be no symptoms because the albumin levels in urine aren't high enough to cause any symptoms. And the usual symptoms include changes in urination, fatigue, swelling, skin rashes or itching, nausea and omitting, shortness of breath, dizziness, weight loss, lack of energy etc. As it doesn't show any symptoms, it is important to have a regular test that is once a year if a person has diabetes. Coming to the complications of microalbuminuria, microalbuminuria is an early sign of chronic kidney disease and risk of coronary heart disease. Long term complications of this coronary kidney disease can include problems that affect heart and blood vessels, also bones, nerves and muscles. Microalbuminuria is the first sign that the kidneys are damaged. So having treatment and making lifestyle changes can help slow down and reduce the risk. So that is microalbuminuria. 
Second type of albuminuria is macroalbuminuria. When albumin present in urine is in very high amount, that is more than 300 mg per gram, the condition is termed as macroalbuminuria. This macroalbuminuria can be detected by two tests, 24 hour urine albumin test. If the value is more than 300 mg per day, it shows macroalbuminuria. Second test is albumin creatinine ratio. If the result is more than 300 mg per gram, it shows uh, macroalbuminuria. So that is about macroalbuminuria. Coming to the reference ranges, normal albuminuria less than 30 mg per gram, microalbuminuria 30 to 300 mg per gram and macroalbuminuria greater than 300 mg per gram. So this is about albuminuria, microalbuminuria, macroalbuminuria and albumin creatinine ratio. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.